well, this presents quite an interesting kind of challenge. There are some machine parts on here, they've machined, or well, they've painted it afterwards, these these two little ridges are machined because they sort of run underneath those um, those ways in the in the vise. So what I'm kind of thinking is if I can find a way of mounting it, I don't think my vise is deep enough, I find a way of mounting it so I can trim the ends to get them true, I can then stick it in the vise that away, more or less, and just run an end mill backwards and forwards over there. what to do now how do we hold this what can we do with it I'm thinking I can probably grab hold of it at the bottom and support it with some clamps maybe at the top just to stop it wobbling around Let's see what we can grab hold of here oh my oh. typical isn't it there we go what can we grab hold of is it gonna... well, that's got it pretty nice. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm only really taking the tiniest little shave off, so I'm thinking if I spin the vice around and get that, the Y kind of true with that and we take a skim across it, we're only going to be taking a little chunk. Right, let's see what we can do. I didn't really have this indicated to you anyway, it was just a sort of eyeballed with the um, with the square which it's good enough for this kind of job. This vice really is the reason that I bought the uh, the one for Mark because it's all right. It suffers a little bit with um, with jaw lift because of its design. It doesn't have any provision for pulling the moving jaw down, and someone in their infinite wisdom machined some step jaws in it. Which actually, wasn't me. Um, they do work but it's not that accurate and it's quite hard to get things true I did end up uh, I did end up actually machine sort of clamping it down getting the way set as best I could and then remachining the jaws which I mean, it works to some extent but I'm sure anyone that's ever worked with uh, with um, step jaws like that will tell you it's yeah it's not ideal I'm gonna have to swap these T nuts around aren't I Other side? No, it's got stuck. No. It's got some nice features this vice. You can clamp it anywhere, which is kind of cool. And the um the the versatile one doesn't really have quite such a good provision for doing that. Um, the, I think ARP do sell what they call a pre precision milling milling vice, which has got this sort of slots milled in the side. Um, and it, it looks lovely. And I can't remember why I decided not to choose that one. I, compared to this one. Anyway. That's what we got. That's what we're gonna work with. That one kind of set. And we just we're gonna eyeball this against the cutter I think.
Friday night bumble fuckery. The best kind. <laughs> yeah, we could do this. It's gonna be very light cuts only. We got quite a bit of meat in the, the vice jaws, which is good. Let's take let's take kind of half of it, because this is the low half anyway. So we're going to end up taking a little bit more off that anyhow. It's not looking too bad. Obviously, I need to finish it off with something that isn't a, uh, a gnarly old roughing end mill, but I'm uh, well. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's. Uh... Oh. You just hate it when you get the wrong axis. machines quite nicely. And we've machined the flat portion that I'm just going to take that, not that I like it, but I'm just going to take that tiny Oh yeah, look at that. C'est magnifique! Right, cut a change. Oh, I've covered my phone in swarf. Right, what do we got? Something sharp. Or anything sharp. Ooh, that's nice and sharp. That's lovely. That'll do. Call it change, but that's okay. Alrighty. It's going to break off. Bring it back over. There we go. Bit of cotton oil on there. Now I think I'm going to go full depth and just take this a, a shave. Let's bring the table right up. Let me bring you around this side a bit. Climb cut this. Shut up. Oh, the machine's really nice here. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's reposition that a bit. <laughs> The, uh, the quill rubbing on there a bit, a little bit. I'm going to stick my end bit out a little bit more, that's all. Have another 
good lodge of cutting oil. I haven't got my flood coolant set up yet. Not, well, I don't know. I'm not really sure I'm going to go flood coolant. Maybe mist, we'll see. see uh, it's really hard with the camera mm, let's get the cutter out of the way the X lock off would help wouldn't it is that better yeah yeah you can just about see the finisher there it's not too bad it's certainly good enough for what we're doing here anyway I'm gonna I'm very tempted to just finish off the, the very edge of this little bit of casting here. Nice. Time to put it back together. You know, when I was, um, when I was a lot younger than I am now, <laughs> a long time ago, whenever someone used to buy me a Lego model or build me one, which happened quite a lot actually. Um, oh, that's interesting. A bit of run out on that. Um, huh, that is interesting. You see it runs out a little bit. You can, you can feel it more than see it. It seems like the shaft's a little, actually a little bent. Doesn't seem to affect its operation, but hmm, interesting. Oh well, anyway. Yeah, when I was small, Dad used to make me a Lego model or something. The first thing I'd ever do was take it apart and probably, probably change it. And <laughs> after, uh, is it clean? I don't know what this little mark is. Hmm, I can't feed it with a finger. It's just a, just like a visual mark. Um, anyway, I'd always take stuff apart, probably make some changes, and uh, when, I, when I was that age I used to call that process making designments, and there you go, that's why the channel is named what it is. Um, it used to infuriate Dad something chronic. You can never leave anything alone, can you? Well, um, no, and to be honest with you, it served me pretty well. So, thanks Dad, thanks for making all those things, that's what I mean about that being a, a nice fit. Um, thanks for making all those things for me, even though I was only going to take them apart again and make them quote unquote better. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really seen me proud that process over the years. So uh, that's what you get for working while you're talking. I'll just put the fixed door back on. I haven't put the little anvil back in that I've just finished battling. Where is it? There you go. All right, let's try this again. Put this part now in the correct way around. a few more of these little holes actually for putting the um, those little tabs on it's got it's quite a nice feature that I do quite like that lovely right take three a bit of grease over that little nubbin Oh, that feels better. What a surprise. Let's get this right at the end. Actually use the Allen key properly.
Oh, that feels better. There's a more positive, when you get to the end of the travel of the, the little key there, there's definitely a more positive kind of location. Let's see what this thinks about it. Ah, oh, yes. And it feels a little bit smoother as well, actually. It's not rocking about on that uh, little nubbin. Well, I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys.